Jewish coder Enya KV is a true SOV. Because based on the MVP platform, it shows very special and different proportions. It has a very short overhangs, but it shows a long sloping roof line and therefore big space in the interior by having for this car, I think, one of the brand values of Škoda Auto. And of course, it shows a very characterful side graphic and typical for Škoda, it shows a very crisp Donato line which runs throughout the whole car. Speaking of which, that's actually one of my favorite points of the side. It just goes all the way down here, kinks up and it kind of meets the rear window. Again, very muscular looking. I'm happy with that. Another thing that I think is really great as well are your new 21 inch wheels. Tell me about those. Yeah, we offered here a very nice special design for the Enyaq here, offering similar to a turbine. And you can see as well with twisted surfaces on the level, we give it a lot of character and it let the lights flow. And speaking of aerodynamics, I think I'm right in saying that this has got a drag coefficient of 0.26. I've done my homework. Yeah, of all you can see it, as we said before, it has a very sloopy roofline on the one hand, also a very long spoiler on the back. And of course, we in, uh, incorporated as well a lot of air brakes around the car. Have a look here on the rear lamps with the Skoda typical C design and crystal elements. With the sharp brakes on the side, we continue in the bumper side and this air cut lowers the resistance of the car, which is outstanding, as you said. Absolutely. And now that I'm standing at the back of the car, Carl, I think that this is probably my favorite point of the car. It's low, it's squat, it's muscular, a little bit like me, maybe. Speaking of my favorite parts, Carl, what's that one thing that excites you most, where you think, yes, my team and I did such a good job? Yes, with the all new Skoda Enya KV, we did the next step of the Skoda design language. As you can see, it's not only crystalline and cubistic, but also we gave the cars as well a lot of sculpture now. Look here on the muscle, over the fenders on the front, but also to the back, which gives the car a lot of power, a lot of strength, and therefore a lot of character. So Carl, let's discuss the front end, because one thing that's crystal clear to me is the fact that this is an EV that doesn't shout about the fact that it's an EV, and that for you guys was really important, wasn't it? Yes, uh, the all-new Škoda Enya KV is of course a true Škoda and therefore it should show as well a true Škoda face. And this we did with a very upright grille here, as you can see, hexagonal shape. And this time the lemmers are closed because an AV only needs the air from the bottom here for the batteries. The grille is flanked by very characterful headlamps here, showing inside some crystal glass elements here. Uh, for the daylight function and the position lamp, having incorporated as well here some eyelashes continuing the lamps of the grill. And the lamps also show brand new LED matrix technology. And there's also some special design technology that you haven't told me about. What is that? Yeah, and we created for the all new Skoda Enya KV the so called crystal face. It is an illuminated crystal because we say. Light is the new chrome, and therefore we did it with 130 LEDs with a beautiful crystal treatments of the lemmers. It's outstanding, unique, and especially done for this car. Well, Carl, I have to say the front end for me just works. We've got a nice big splitter at the bottom as well, inverted power dome on the bonnet, which I think looks great. And you can tell that Carl and his team are super proud of this car because you've put a massive Škoda badge on the front here. It's almost the same size as my hand. Yeah. It is the signature for our Skoda cars. It shows quality, identity, and of course, a lot of character. Skoda, simply clever.